All right, today we're talking about Thousand Trails again. Okay. New <laughs> versus used. Oh, okay. But there are so many Thousand Trails videos out there to try to explain how it all works. And we're gonna explain a little bit about that, but we're gonna dumb it way down and really kind of dive into what's a better option for you. Okay. New, used, or maybe Thousand Trails is not for no, you at it's all. Not for everybody. So we'll get through all that right now. All right, the first option is a zone pass. There are yeah. five zones in the Thousand Trail system. Mm -hmm. It's broken up through the United States. So the first option is a camping pass, and a camping pass costs $630 a year right now. That could change any time. Yeah, right. But Fletcher. as we're recording this, it's $630 a year. That's for one zone. Okay. So that's really more for like your part-timers, or if you have a home base in that zone and you like to do a lot of camping in that zone, good for you yeah if you more like you stay in your state or bordering state yeah and so there are some rules attached to this though um, mm -hmm. if you want an additional zone you can buy an additional zone for seventy dollars per year so, yeah. each zone that you add on to it so if you have a camping pass with an additional zone it's gonna be seven hundred dollars for the year those are only new you can there's no, no pre-owned option for zone passes you True. can only buy yeah. those new um, and the rules are you can book up to 60 days out mm -hmm. and you can stay up to two weeks Okay. But you can't go park to park. You got to be out of the system for a week before you can go back in for your next two weeks stay Yes, so that is the camping pass easy to understand and easy to explain So if you're a part-timer that might be for you uh, for full-timers I think the options are going to be more with a membership Yes, because the memberships include every zone mm -hmm. you can stay at any thousand trails in the whole system you don't have to worry about picking your zone anymore right now what we have is what's called an elite basic mm -hmm. membership we bought ours pre-owned yes. and we paid four thousand three hundred dollars for ours at the time that we purchased it mm -hmm. and we purchased through campground membership outlet and they have because they are pre-owned mm -hmm. whatever you purchase the rules apply to whatever membership that you buy yes so for us we have an elite basic it, like I said includes all zones you can book up to 120 days out you can stay up to three weeks at a time and you can go park to park mm -hmm. that's really all we needed yeah so we thought that that was that was good for us yeah we weren't looking for all the all the frills of it yeah now we additionally we pay five hundred and seventy five dollars a year in dues yes but once you get through paying for the, uh, the initial investment of the membership, uh -huh. the 575 a year is less than what you would pay for a zone pass. Exactly. For a year. So yeah. it's actually a good That's deal. It. Yeah. If you're gonna be traveling if the whole country. If you're gonna use it a lot, yeah. Now it took us a little over a year to completely break even. Well, we weren't exclusive to Thousand Trails. Right. We spent a lot of time on military ground too, so. Yeah, and private. It could have been faster. It could have. If we would have stayed just in Thousand Trails, we could have broke even way sooner. Well, yeah, and half that time. So I think that the 575 a year after that is not a bad price. No. That's about a two week stay in a park somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So it's good after you pay for it and you're all good to go. Mm -hmm. So the equivalent of what we have brand new is around seven thousand dollars yeah which is a little pricey and so I know you're thinking like why would you buy a new one versus a pre-owned one there's a couple reasons there are the pre-owned inventory might not be good at the time mm -hmm. might not have anything good yeah uh, a lot of the pre-owned ones um, once you buy it you might be the last buyer yeah you might not be able to sell it again or give it to a family member or will it yeah mm -hmm. some of these you can will to your family members so but the new one you buy a new one you can absolutely resell it later on yes so even your seven thousand dollar investment you're gonna get some of that back on the back end yeah if you choose to sell it yeah um, the other reason is because uh, you can finance a new yes. membership whereas a used membership yeah you, you gotta pay it. Right pay it yeah you gotta put it on a credit card which is not a good idea or you gotta fork out the money up front Gosh. whereas if you go straight through thousand trails you're gonna pay a little more you can resell it and you can finance it yeah so that's a good option for some people now the reason that we're doing this video right now 
is because Lil Birdie told us mm -hmm. that this year, in the first quarter of 2022, the price of the new memberships in Thousand Trails going up. Yeah, and, and not like tens of dollars. No. Not even a couple hundred of dollars. No. You're going to see a price increase of between probably $750 and $1,000 for that membership, the membership that we're talking about. Yeah. There are different kinds of memberships. Yeah, there's more elaborate um, than ours. But all of them are going to be going up. Mm -hmm. So I would assume that if the price of new memberships go up, the price of used memberships is going to go up a little bit too. Maybe not as much. Yeah. But they will go up. Yeah, everything's going to balance out. Yeah. So you have to really... Um, if you're going pre-owned, you really have to talk to Campground Membership Outlet and talk about the rules that are attached to the membership that you are purchasing you're because in, yeah. those rules will apply to you forever and ever. Yeah. Some of these are so old that you have like 210 days booking yeah. out and you like, yeah. And, but the older ones, some parks weren't in the system yet. So and some parks don't apply. I think that throws people. They assume if I've got this membership, I, it's all parks. Exactly. In, thousand trails but only what was in when that package was available which is also true when you buy your new membership so when you buy your new membership it'll include every park that's in the thousand trail system right, right now. now if they add any parks it won't be and you will be asked to upgrade to add those additional parks exactly um, I'll throw up a map of the thousand trails properties okay. now all the dark brown is the regular thousand trails mm -hmm. now what we haven't talked about yet is the trails collection Okay. So once you decide whether you're going to get a new membership or a used membership, then you got to decide whether you're going to get a trails collection. Now trails collection uh, adds way more parks. Yes. Takes the total number of parks over 190 properties that mm -hmm. you can stay at, but there are certain rules with, with that. the trails collection. Mm -hmm. So the trails collection you'll see on the map, that's the light brown and the blue properties. So you can see it adds a lot more properties, mostly coastal. Yeah. Um, but here's the rules for the trails collection. It's a new thing too. You can only buy new. You can't. There's no pre-owned option yeah, for this. No, you have to buy it through Thousand mm -hmm. Trails. It is a Thousand Trails add-on. It adds all these parks, and it's right now the price is three hundred and thirty dollars a year. Mm -hmm. When we purchased it, it was three hundred, so it does go up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so the time you're watching this, it might be even a little Mighty more than that. Yeah. But right now it's three hundred thirty dollars mm -hmm. a year, which is really some parks. It's like a week's stay. Yeah. And that's for the whole year. And yeah, we used it once and it paid for itself. We used it once for two weeks and we, we was paid for. Yeah. So I think it's definitely a good investment. Even if you're only going to use it once for a couple years, good investment mm -hmm. to have. But here's the rules. Um, you can only book 60 days out. Yes. There's no options. You can't pay more to get better options. No. It is what it is. Yes. The rules are the same, same for, for everyone. Uh, you can book up 60 days out mm -hmm. and you can stay up two weeks. Yes. But you cannot go from trails collection to trails collection. Yeah. Here's where Which it gets is a, a bummer. It is a bummer. <laughs> and here's where it gets a little complicated because trails collection kind of talks with Thousand Trails. Mm -hmm. So those trails collection parks a lot so many spots for Thousand Trails members. They they are actually their own privately owned parks, yes. but they're incorporated with Thousand Trails so they have some spots available. Mm -hmm. Now, in the whole grand scheme of things, if you get the the membership, mm -hmm. you can go, other than the zone pass, you can go park to park from yeah. Thousand Trails to Thousand Tons. Trails. A regular Thousand Trails to a regular Thousand Trails, good to no go. Problem. You can go from a Trails collection to a Thousand Trails. Yes. You can go from a Thousand Trails to a Trails, trails. collection. Yeah. The only thing that you cannot do, and no one can do, no matter what membership you have yeah. on the planet, you cannot go from a Trails collection to a Trails collection. Mm -hmm. You have to be out for one week before you can go back in. Yeah. But if you're in an area like, let's take Central Florida, for example, yeah. there are there's only like three regular Thousand yeah. Trails parks in Florida, but there's a lot of Trails of collection. Yeah. So you can go, and stay three weeks at a thousand trails, pop out, go to two weeks at a, at a trails okay. collection, back into a thousand trails for three weeks, to yeah. another thousand trails for three weeks, to an encore for two weeks, and back to a thousand trails. So you can do that. You just can't go from trails collection to trails collection. Yeah. So you have to plan it. You got to do the dance. Yeah. But the good thing about the trails collection is there's uh, no one can beat you in booking. Everybody's booking sure. window opens at the same, same time. time. Whereas it's a little different between the competition between a camping pass and a membership yeah. because 
if you have membership, you can book 120 days out. Yeah. If you have just a camping pass, it's only 60 days out. Yeah. So you are less of an advantage if you only have a zone True. pass for a camping yeah. pass. Um, so I hope that didn't complicate things too much. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let us know. Um, if you're thinking about getting a pre-owned membership, uh, we will leave a link in the description to Campground Membership Outlet. Mm -hmm. Talk to Kimberly. She's phenomenal. She knows everything. She's Jeez. and she will tell you everything you need to know yeah. about Thousand Trails. <laughs> She'll go through with uh, with you on what her inventory is mm -hmm. and find a membership that suits your needs yes. the yeah. best. Uh, so Kimberly was outstanding. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking about buying a new Thousand Trails membership talk to Aaron we're gonna leave his right. contact information in the description also he will do the same thing for you he will sit down and talk with you he will go through all the options because like I said there are more options than just what we talked about yeah. that's just the equivalent we wanted to see the, we wanted you to see the difference between what we have the equivalent between the new and the used and he is not a pressure person no he could care less if you end up getting it or not they don't care yeah so, so buy you're not it or gonna not like be yeah. like the car salesman <laughs> and put that pressure on you to yeah. make a deal he he doesn't care if you end up saying okay thank you not interested he'll say have a good day yeah and he'll <laughs> he'll definitely break it down for you as to what you know based on your needs what membership yeah. option would he be may the best even tell you. you that they're not good for you he might yeah He'll be honest. And same thing for Kimberly. She'll tell you whether yeah. th this one is eligible to be sold again, whether it's able to be willed to family or whatever. Yeah. And um, so th obviously the ones that can be sold again are more expensive. Yes. Uh, ours uh, can't be sold again, so that's why yeah. ours was a little cheaper. Mm -hmm. But it's okay because we're just going to use it we as long as we use it. it. We already paid for it itself. We've already broke even. Yeah. So we can't sell it again, but it's no harm, no foul because now every time we stay at Thousand Trails, it's free. We don't have an interest in willing it to family. No. I ain't giving my daughter nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Spending it all. That's funny. But anyway, we will leave the uh, the the contact information to Kimberly and Aaron in the description below. Be sure to tell them that the way we're wag sent you because yes. we do get a little bit of a commission if you decide to uh, buy something. But don't just buy something. Actually figure it out if it's going to work for you. Yeah. And I will say Thousand Trails doesn't work for everybody. No, it, it's not built for everybody. Yeah. It really is. And it's not without issue. A thousand Trails Parks have issues. Is. Sometimes they have power issues. Sometimes they have space issues, availability issues, uh, high utilization booking issues yeah. where it's hard to get in parks, especially with these encores down like in high utilization areas like the Florida Keys. Keys for I sure. mean, it's just hard to get into. So don't expect to get this and just be able to get in everywhere yeah, you can yeah. get in. Uh, it can be a little out. frustrating. So we, you kind of have you to. You have to be flexible. Yeah work it out but like I said it's paid for itself now for us mm -hmm. and uh, it's working well for us yes it is. so we don't plan around thousand trails we can kind of go where we go and if there happens to be a thousand trails bonus exactly because we get to stay for free mm -hmm. but so, having the add-ons helps when we're not conveniently located it know. does the the encores definitely help because it gives you more options yeah and it gives you more flexibility and be able to pop in and out of those so hopefully uh, you understand all that. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comments below. We'll be happy to answer any of those questions. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor Fallen Hero. And um, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>